Hey Kirti, thanks for being on the show. Thank and you so much. So good to see you after Saima. I think times like flown by. You know, <laughs> last yeah. time when I met you, you were just about starting shoot, or you were in the middle yeah. of shoot. You were just working on it. Yeah. Now you up for release. Yeah. It. yeah, it's up for release. So how is the feeling? Feeling very glad. Um, I'm glad that we wrapped it up really fast. It went well as well, and we had a fun shoot. Now it's uh coming up for new year release so i'm very excited about that right so you're already being you know touted as the next big thing in tamil industry with a couple of releases and you are entering telugu industry um are you feeling blessed i'm f- i am feeling blessed on one side um because uh, it's been um it's been moving very fast uh, the cup- last couple of months i've been just working on movies it's all you know and now it's like coming all together like my jan first nenu shalaja is releasing and on 14th rajini morgan is releasing mm. and uh, by maybe by the end of the month pambu sette that's in the tamil yeah. movie of mine which is releasing so it's, uh, and uh, danish sir and trouble solvents as project that is might come up for some more and again the project right now i'm working with uh, shivakarthikeyan and yeah. pc shriram sir that, yeah. that might come up for some as well yeah. so it's like Packed. I think uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's packed. So this whole year it went by working on all these projects, and now it's all set up for release. Right. So excited about that. So I understand, um, you know, the transition from Malayalam to Tamil would have been smooth. But how is it adapting to Telugu? Uh, I don't find it much difficult because um, uh, the kind of characters which I got in Telugu, be it Aina Ashtamu, the first Telugu movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, and uh, nenu sharja but nenu sharja is really the first uh, both these are like you know very simple characters which you could find even in malayalam movies or tamil movies mm-hmm. so nothing much different from that yeah. so you know and uh, be it even the language uh, i found it very easy because i know tamil and because tamil and telugu the sentence construction is more or less the same mm-hmm. so i just have to swap words right. so and in the sets all of them can talk tamil yeah. so that's one main thing you know which helps me a lot yeah. i i so i've had a smooth travel all along right so uh, you entered the industry quite early you know as a child actress and your parents your mom menaka has been a top hero and from your mom did you get lessons about how to behave how to be in the industry definitely yes work? but uh, it was just in the starting i remember this uh, my first day when i was um, going for my shoot for this movie geetanjali in malayalam all she told me was just two things be punctual and uh, be disciplined be uh, you know you should value everyone be it the unit boy the workers every technician till the director everyone in the same way make sure that you see them all in the same way mm-hmm. so these were the only two things she said and my dad was like you better behave <laughs> so you know uh so that th- those were the only things that she told me and after every movie it's not that i go and tell them every day what's happening i just because i i hardly meet them but i make sure i update them once in a while and then after that i've never got any advice so those are just two advice they can give yeah. so how did you make this uh, decision to actually be an actor when you actually did uh, you know fashion designing as, as a professional course I never decided it my myself you know this all just happened just like that um I was doing my course my third year and and I had an exchange program so I was uh, in uh, London so at that time is when Priya Darshan Priya uncle like call him is my dad's close friend so he called me up saying uh okay uh, you know what I'm doing this movie called Geetanjali you are the heroine and that so there it's a double role and all that I was like, "What are you even saying?" I'm like, "I'm just studying. It's my third year. I have one more year left. It was a four-year course." So I was like, "No, no, no. It's okay. You just come back, and we'll just work on it." I was like, "You know, I kind, I kind of didn't understand the kind of trust that he had on me. I was like, yeah. what does he even think? Uh, what does he even have in his mind?' You know?" Yeah. So uh, then uh, we got back, and we just started working on the project. And I entered the industry only because it was him. my dad always my dad and mom both of them they wanted me to complete my studies and then think about this 
and uh, cinema is not something where you know my dad just can't produce a movie just for me yeah. i i was the will you produce a movie for me so he'll be like i can't take that risk <laughs> so you know so what they say is it has to come to you it's not something you go and search for yeah. so it has to come to you so and luckily that happened and it's only because it was priyan uncle that he being that close friend so my dad accepted okay be it third year you know somehow mm-hmm. managed to do it and so uh, so then that's how it started and my college supported a lot so that was one good thing right so ha- what are the discussions like with your parents when you actually pick a script or i are going to okay a script um <coughs> uh, do they get involved they do of course mm-hmm. uh, because once i come to, uh, i make sure that uh, i filter out uh, the best ones out of what i get and the best ones might probably the ones about which i discuss to them so uh, once i get to know i i do discuss with them and uh, um, at first they used to listen to the stories because i was at college i used to be busy and so they used to listen it for me and they used to narrate it to me my mom but later even she found it difficult to narrate it to listen it to it then narrate it to me so i thought okay fine i'll listen it by myself uh so then what happened is i started i i started taking over and uh, now i just tell them the mood of the story now once i started taking over all they want is they just want to know the mood and mood of the movie and they want, want to watch it on the screen so they don't want to listen it from yeah. me so i'm like okay so we ask me are you confident about this project are you okay with this project that's all okay. are there any compliments uh, ma'am menaka has given you after watching any film very rarely yeah. <laughs> both of them give yeah. because uh, uh no uh i think the first proper compliment i got was after she watched this movie then am i my first tamil movie so that's my first movie i I've, i've watched with her sitting beside me so i was quite tense and um, by the interval she was like I'm glad you've done well. <laughs> so that there was one thing she told me because both my Malayalam movies both of them they watched and they watched the first day night show and they're like oh, it's okay good done a good job okay <laughs> that's all they say. Kollam. 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 Okay so that's the thing they say because you know they, they don't want me to show off when my parents told me or something like that. They don't they don't want me to uh I, they think that you know i'll i might get too tense or you know, excited when they say that so mm-hmm. they just don't taste, say so much about that right. uh nenu salaja comes across as a quirky love story so what about the script excited you uh the good part was that um uh nenu salaja first of all it was it started when i was working for rajini murugan mm. so it was a little doubtful when i started off like as in when i heard about uh, the project i was a little doubtful if i could do that because i was busy finishing off the schedule rajini murugan it already got extended and, uh, because i fell ill and so i had to finish it off but luckily i had a 10 days gap in between and those were the 10 days which they wanted as well so then i had to listen to the story so I just went and Kishore started narrating and I was like glued on to the way he was narrating. It was amazing the way he narrates because he is a script writer and lovely dialogues yeah. and you know very beautiful script and um, the good part about it is that it has a lot of mixed emotions um say uh, you know the it, the relation between a father and a daughter is love romance and uh, other emotions so all put together it it is a nice family drama right. so i thought once i finished listening to the story i was like be it whatever i am doing this project right. so i was ready to do it on any you know any case so that's how it started off it's definitely because of kishore's narration right. one reason because be the same story if it was narrated bad it yeah. wouldn't have been that impressive yeah, so his narration was really good mm-hmm. so at that time i had this thing okay now he's a good script writer i, w- I used to wonder how you how he yeah. used to direct yeah. but after going to the sets he's like damn fast his speed is very good 
and his clarity clarity and speed both these both things amaze me because uh, now um, for me i if i uh, you know he tells me a shot uh, i act it out so maybe i feel that if i go two more takes it will become better but sometimes he comes he comes and tells that okay this is okay let's go for the next shot mm. so i tell him that you know what if you could wait mm. if we take two more takes maybe it becomes better mm. so he'll be like you know what i want this so this is fine right. so it's about his clarity he knows what he mm. wants and if he gets that he's happy mm. and if he doesn't get that he tells that on face as well and about the and the speed so once he gets what he wants it's done he, mm. he wraps up he goes to the next thing mm. so when a director has both speed and clarity you know the it was going on schedule everything was packed up properly yeah. properly wrapped up and had a good time shoot kishor is also someone who has a great comic sense you know yeah definitely so how was it on the sets while it was fun i don't even remember sitting uh, jobless in the caravan you know yeah you go morning i dress up i go to the shot come back have lunch and i go i hardly have some gap to take a nap you know so it used to be that busy and it's not only about being busy everyone used to be sitting in front of the monitor chit chatting you know that's it used to be fun you know i never had to come back to caravan sit alone or you know get bored it was all we always were together so it was fun how was ram as a costa ram as everyone says damn energetic yeah. you know and um, i i i i try to find some synonym for energy mm-hmm. <laughs> you know uh, everyone calls him energetic i don't know maybe he's the fast and the furious or something <laughs> uh i think that that energy the it's driven from the dedication that he has i would say mm-hmm. because uh, his dedication is like amazing uh, because Once he finishes a shot, he runs back to the monitor, checks what's happening. Okay, what changes have been made, and then he goes back. If he wants to do it again, he does it. So you know, he's never lazy. He's never happy or you know satisfied with whatever he does. He keeps going on. Is that okay? Is this okay? So the kind of commitment, the connection he has towards the project is incredible. So how was it to keep up with his energy level? It was difficult. The first day I saw him, I was like, "Damn!" And I was like, "I was like, oh my god!" I was so amazed. He he, he keeps running around. You know, the the way he walks itself is damn fast. And and I'm a little lazy actually. You know, so then I thought, okay, Ram is so energetic. I have to you know keep up with him. So that is one thing I learned. It was not difficult, but that's something I learned from him. And how was it working with Satyaraj? amazing i should say because uh, there is a very beautiful scene um a couple of beautiful scenes uh, in our combination and you know I, i'm i'm sure every father and daughter would get connected to this mm-hmm. because uh, everyone it, it's just common between a father and a daughter whatever happens that is what happens in the movie mm-hmm. and shailaja is a character who's not very expressive very covert hearted you know she, who keeps everything within herself yeah. so uh for such a character and uh and such a dad okay, dad is also someone who's like that mm. so when that is put together and uh, such uh, those sort of scenes mm. together it brings a lot of emotion so and uh, there were a few scenes um, where i had a lot of dialogues with him in the climax Uh, that worked out really well because um, Kisho used to give me a lot of time. See, uh, when we have to take a shot, say it's a master shot. Usually, what we do is we finish the whole of master shot, then you come to the close up, then you come to the suggestion. So there is this emotional scene between me and my dad. So just because Kisho wanted to travel in the same mood, what he did was uh, every and it's not that. Uh, I I am not a person who can by heart like two days before mm-hmm. come to the set and uh, spit it out. Yeah. So what I used to do is right before the shot, I used to take five minutes, learn that particular dialogue, and then mm-hmm. say. Mm-hmm. Uh, so what he used to do is he he used to give me five minutes. We finished the master shot, and we went in the same po- same uh, order. Mm-hmm. We didn't change it right. because he wanted it in the same mode. 
so it was one master shot it was one suggestion it was one close up again a master shot so not everyone would take the pressure to do that yeah. but kishor and samir sir uh, the dop both of them we had the patience uh, to take that up and even satyarat sir he was amazed um because uh, even they are you know very they are very patient to do that and um I, because and i am a person who can't do pro- i mean i can't listen to prompting mm-hmm. i'm not good at prompting so all, uh, so i want to uh, by heart the dialogues mm-hmm. love, make out the meaning and everything mm-hmm. and then do it so he was also very patient he used to say then you know he used to appreciate so i was like so why are you a director as actor you you want to just give it your shot you know you want to uh, act I, your way i think the best thing is to uh, do what the director wants in your style mm-hmm. you know you should always combine both our style and the director's mm-hmm. style so a lot of things put together uh, see the director has been living with the story for say 2 years mm-hmm. he knows what the character wants uh, more than any of us mm-hmm. so um that's one main thing so we have to first know what he wants mm-hmm. exactly and uh, my uh, contribution would be like what i could ask mm-hmm. him say i uh, my contribution would be like if one shot i can uh, ask him two three different ways if i could do it this way or that way sometimes he would say okay this ni- this is nice mm-hmm. sometimes he would say no it's not necessary for this shot let it be simple mm-hmm. let it be how i want and apart from all that uh, behind everything is the character you know sometimes what i want to do will never gel with what the character has to be you know yeah. so uh, ultimately it's about how shalaja is mm. you know ulti- not just shalaja any character mm. how it has to be so we always look up to the character and make sure that you do it in that way yeah. uh, do you relate to the character not or at or all not at all <laughs> no because okay. uh, so what is the kind of character you playing uh shalaja's character as i told you very you know who keeps everything within herself mm. you know not very expressive uh, not very expressive as in she doesn't know to express she's been brought up that way uh but she has a lot of emotions inside her mm. uh, be it happiness or sadness anything but she doesn't know to express uh, so a very you know contained c- contained and not very overt yeah. that sort of character yeah, yeah, yeah. okay so how was it playing that character since you're not not like that it is difficult because you know when um when you have to downplay a character when you have to be a little subtle it's very difficult than being a lot expressive mm. so you you can be loud how much ever you want mm. but when you have to be subtle you have to make sure that uh, you are subtle but people are watching you on screen mm. but that should look expressive as well mm. right mm. so that's one thing which is very difficult mm. as of what i know because this is uh, somewhat similar to my character which i did in abnmim right. uh, where the character is very subtle something similar to this right. uh, so this was even difficult because uh, she has a lot of emotions inside her you know packed up and uh, but she doesn't know to show it outside right. so that's sort of a character yeah. So how do you prepare for your characters Kirti do you do you take lessons from mom or do you take lessons from your director or you no just no lessons from just, mom uh, and, yeah. um, i don't I, i actually they have no idea what nenu shailaja is because uh, nenu shailaja narrating the story is very difficult it has a lot of drama happening lot of uh, you know different levels so i can't narrate it to my mom so all that i told her is one main story line and my characters like this so uh, director probably because the first day first few days what i do he comes and corrects me that's how it starts mm-hmm. off uh, uh, you know i do something i do i show him two or three ways of how i can do it and he says okay let's stick to this mm-hmm. till the end of the movie So that's how it started right so otherwise there's no other preparation no uh, for this especially i didn't take any other preparation right was it easier for you since you are already a fashion designer uh, was it easier to understand you know the colors the fits and other aesthetics definitely and i think that's one good thing uh, i have 
now when I'm working in movies because even if the designer is not around, mm. I can talk to the costumers and you know, and um, uh, you know, the, a lot of things I can tell them. You can do it this way, you can do it that way. Mm. Methods of alteration, I can tell them. So even the designer feels happy when she is mm. not around. So it was very easy to communicate mm. and make things much easier. Mm. We understand it's a love story, Nenu Sailaja, but what is the story like? So uh, it's what are the central characters, like something uh, around the story? Uh, what can I tell about the story? It's about, um, um, I don't know how to say that. <laughs> <laughs> can I even say that? <laughs> I think you should watch it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, what What are your upcoming projects in right Tamil now? And in um, Telugu. After Nenu Shalja's release on Jan first, it's Rajini Murugan releasing on Jan fourteenth, mm. and hopefully, uh, I think Pambu Setai mm. uh, that might release at the end of the month of Feb. Not yeah. sure. And uh, like I said, I did a project with Danush sir mm. in Prabhu Solomon sir that that might come up for summer. And the next one which I did was, uh, which I'm doing is mm. right now, again I'm repeating with Shivaka mm. Dike and then um, working with PC sir as well. Mm. So that's the new project which I'm working right, right. now in Tamil. So how is the feeling you're working with almost all the top guys, you know, so early in your career? I don't know, it's a little scary, tensed, feeling blessed on one side, on the other hand I'm feeling tensed as well because you know, it has to work out well, it's not, a, it's not just about Working with uh, all these people, I mean, I feel so blessed. I'm glad that I've got such big projects. I'm working on that. These are definitely main points in my career, I believe. But it's not just about uh, kick-starting it off. It's also about sustaining. So mm. I have to know about myself only after these movies get released. Only then I can rate myself. Okay, where am I? <laughs> Yeah. So I'm so, just waiting. Yeah, so 2016 just doesn't have Nainu Salaja, it also has a lo lot of other releases. Are you feeling nervous? Um, Not really. Uh, I mean, um, I heard there are a couple of releases, but the good part is uh, this doesn't have a specific target audience as such. Mm -hmm. it, is, it is a good package as such, you know, um, the, the production, drama in it. Uh, Kishore, you know, the movie as such, the cast, the dialogues, uh, the teaser has come out very well, mm. the trailer has good response mm. and the songs, DSP, so yes. as, an, as an overall package, it sounds very good, it looks good, mm. so I'm sure the initial of it is going to be really good, mm. so I'm having that expectation because as I said, it, it doesn't have a specific target audience, anyone can come and watch it, so uh, when you start, look, I mean, as the mood, uh, the mood has come out as how we wanted it to be. So I think that will serve the purpose. So how has 2015 been for you? It's been really hectic. It's been uh, a year of shoot, I would say. It's just shooting, shooting, shooting. And I just had one release, um, which was what I was worried about at one point. But now I'm happy. That it's all coming together in 2016. <laughs> So it's like. Um, so what do you do when you're off shoot? Uh, off shoot, say if I get two days off, I'll just sleep, eat, sleep, eat, sleep, eat. Because you know, I'll have a lot of plans, but they just don't fit in the two days that I get. And uh, if it's say a week or maybe more than that, then uh, I might fly to my hometown, Trivandrum. I just go chill there for them for a while and come back. But Hardly happens. I just went last uh, week, before last week, for IFSK, International Film Festival. Uh, and that too, it was because of the flood. Shoot got cancelled. So I had no other go. So I just went. So else even, I wouldn't have even got that time to go off. So then I went there. I was there for like a week. Okay, relaxed and came back. Have you recovered from the flood? floods? Yeah, I have. I, I read about your harrowing experience. Right. Okay, um, what are your resolutions for 2016? No resolution is my resolution. <laughs> because none of my resolutions ever work out, you know. So I'm like, if I have to take something, I really have to stick on to it. I don't know what sort of resolution I'm going to take. 
I should think about it. <laughs> um, I would like you to tell the viewers of I Dream what why they should probably watch Nenu Shalaja in theaters. Nenu Shalaja is a very good feel good movie. Uh, it's all about the mood. It's a it's a nice family drama. It has a lot of mixed emotions, be it fun, uh, sadness, happiness, love, romance. A nice uh, cute relationship between a father and a daughter. So I'm sure anyone who watches this movie, uh, be it a guy or a girl, they would get connected uh, to the characters in the movie. A guy could get connected to Hari, uh, the character of Ram. A girl could get connected to Shailaja. So I hope you all enjoy it. So please do watch it at the theaters. Thank you so much, Kirti. It was a pleasure talking to you and wishing you all the luck for the film. Thank you so much.